Hello Willow Rickers, I'm really glad to be back here with you today. Thank you for watching my last few videos. So we've had three now. We've had the one about the vision board and we've had the one about being grateful as well. So now this is our third share a smile video that you're now celebrating with me. So I'm really, really pleased that you're here. Now I've got something really exciting to tell you. Um, at the end of this video, I've got somebody special here with me today that would like to say hello. So I just thought I'd let you know now so you know that you've got something really exciting coming up, okay? Now today's one is all about the things that we have around us in our homes and celebrating them, okay? Thinking about the things that we have around our home that we really love and we enjoy seeing, we enjoy using, we enjoy just having around us. Okay, just bits and bobs, bits and bobs that might be in your bedroom, things that might be in the living room, or they could be anywhere or anything. Just things that you really like. Now, the reason why we're going to be thinking about that today is because whilst we are at home, we need to make sure that we're appreciating and being aware of all the things that are around us. Because we've got quite a lot of things that are around us that we probably really love and we're not really making the most out of them or we're not appreciating them as much as we would like. So this video today is to remind you just to make sure that your eyes are wide open and that you are really giving yourself that lovely time to spend some quality time with the things that you love. Okay, for example, Miss Smith absolutely adores minions as a lot of you already know. So I have today, I have brought some of my minions with me from my bedroom to show you. Now, I don't have all of these on display because I do have visitors on a normal, you know, in a normal situation, I would have visitors here. So I don't have them just lying around where I live, but I do have them because I absolutely adore minions and I think they're so cute. So I do have a lovely little collection of them. And even better, an additional bonus that I've even got as well to show you today is that I've even had my very own minion made for me, specially made and knitted for me. So I'm gonna show you him now. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. This was actually made for me because um, people around me, people that are close to me, they know how much I love and adore Minions. And yes, I have seen the Minion film and Despicable Me. But I just find them really adorable, really cute, and I just like them. I really like them. When I see them, they put a smile on my face. They know how to cheer me up if I'm feeling a little bit down, a little bit sad. They know how to just instantly make me feel like everything's going to be okay again. So I'd really love to know which teddy or which item like this that you have that you really love too i'd love for you to share them with us so do take some photos or or just message us and let us know let your teachers know that'd be wonderful something else i've got to show you today is i've got my very special candle here and the reason why i wanted to show you this is because it's a special candle it's called kilimanjaro stars okay now have a little think what is what is kilimanjaro Maybe some of you know, maybe some of you don't know. Now, a few years ago, Miss Smith went to Africa and she climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. And as a present, when I came back, I was bought this. And it's a special candle that says Kilimanjaro stars. And it's beautiful. It sits in my bedroom. And when I want some time just to relax and just to forget about things and shut off for a little while which we all need to do, we all need to have some time for ourselves. I like to light my candle, play with my beads, and sometimes even pick up my book as well, that we spoke about in the last video. Um, and even whilst doing that, I have my own little gratitude rock as well here. That I also like to hold. And when I hold this, I can think about all of the things that I feel really grateful for. So these are just some more items around my home that really mean something special to me. I really love them. Um, and again, I would love to know what items you've got that you really love. It could be something really simple, like a hairband that you just love wearing, or it could be a car that you have, a little toy car that you just think, I absolutely love playing with that. I'd love to know what that item is or what those items are. Um, and yeah, like I said, let us know. Or let the office know, let the teachers know, 
spread the good news about all the things that make you happy and things that you have just sitting around you that perhaps you you have forgotten about and you've now you're thinking about it you're thinking actually I really do like playing with that or actually I do really do appreciate that so I'd really love to know and find out what things you have that are really special to you and um, I've also got two more teddies that I would like to share with you and um, I've got this beautiful teddy which is gorgeous um, and she was recently knitted for me by a key worker and I've decided to call her Bella which means beauty in Spanish because as some of you might know Miss Smith used to live in Spain and I can speak Spanish Puedo hablar Española so I decided to call her Bella which means beauty in Spanish because I think she's pretty beautiful and I really love flowers and I love the little flower that she's got attached to her she's gorgeous I'm really grateful that somebody actually took the time to create this for me. Beautiful. I got also another teddy that I love, as you can probably tell already now, Miss Smith likes her teddies. I've got a beautiful monkey, and monkey monkeys are my favourite animal. Um, and I particularly love the orangutan, and I just love my orangutan. I just think he is adorable, and I really love cuddling up to him too. And again, these simple little things that are just lying around my home, I just love them. They make me feel really happy, really joyful. So yeah, I'd love to see what things make you happy and joyful. But before we go, and before you get on and show us the things that make you happy that are around your home, I've got a little surprise for you. Now, Miss Smith has said and shared with a lot of her class about somebody who comes and stays with Miss Smith quite often. Have a little guess. Who could it be? So, my parents' dog, he is called Max. He doesn't come and stay with me all the time, but he comes and stays with me quite often. And, luckily for you today, I have got him with me. So, just wait right there. I'm going to go and get him. today to say hello to all of you he's absolutely adorable and Max really likes to be cuddled and he really likes to have lots of attention he definitely likes belly rubs he likes being cuddled by me hopefully and he really likes going for lovely walks as well and he's really clever because when you throw the golf ball Max can actually go and pick it up he can fetch it he's so clever and he is somebody that makes me feel really happy. So if you have a pet at home, I would love to see a picture of you and your pet. It'd be amazing. But for now, Max says hello. And Max is sending you lots of warm love and energy and lots of joy to you and your families whilst you're at home. Say bye, Max. Now, I really hope that you have enjoyed watching the share a smile video with me today and I hope you've been able to share a smile back with me and yeah I look forward to hearing from some of you soon bye bye